Hey everyone, this is Pastor Troy, and I just wanted to talk to you for a moment about gifts. No, I'm not talking about the gifts that you're going to be giving to family and friends this holiday season. I'm talking about the gifts of the Spirit. Now, the, this is a gift that God just freely gives those who, who come to Him and love Him and are called according to His purpose. Everyone has a gift. And this gift don't need to be cultivated. It doesn't need to be worked on in the same way you're going to pass out gifts and you're going to give it to people that you love. And you just want them to use that gift. But the fruit of the Spirit, on the other hand, is different. You have to cultivate that fruit. And those fruits are found in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. And in this chapter, you hear things about love, joy, peace. And as you can hear, you start to hear love, joy, and peace. Those are some things that don't come easy on your daily activity, on your daily grind of going through life. And they need to be worked on each and every day. And the key is not to let the gifts of the Spirit supersede the fruits of the Spirit. You have to have that fruit of the Spirit covering that gift so you can operate in the same way that Jesus operated when he was challenged with people of the world. Now, I want to give you two examples of two men who were blessed with a gift of the Spirit, but didn't cultivate it, didn't add the fruits of the Spirit along with it. One of them is found in Numbers 22, verses 21 through 39. His name is Balaam. He was a prophet during that time period. I'm not going to give you the elaborate story, but he was called on to curse the children of Israel. They were passing through the wilderness by the king of Moab. But Balaam told him, I can only say what God would have me to say. In other words, you can't curse what God is blessed. And that's what the king of Moab came to the realization of. But Balaam, he kind of didn't work too well in the fruits of the spirit. And in the later chapters, he was killed. But the second guy we are very familiar with, his name is Judas. Judas, the betrayer of Jesus Christ. Yes, that Judas, that was one of the 12 disciples. He could heal the sick. He could cast out demons. He could do the things that Jesus was doing at the time. But Judas, again, didn't operate and function in the fruits of the spirit. He didn't show the love, peace and joy that Jesus was the, the example of during that time period. And later, as we know, what happened to Judah. So I'm Judas. So I want you today, I challenge you to walk in the fruits of the Spirit of God and not be so tied up and wrapped up in the gifts that God bless you with. So that's my challenge to you this day, to walk in the Spirit. God bless.